Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. Welcome to CloudMom.com. Talking about when your baby will make the transition from two to one naps. Now, this is usually something that happens at around between 15 and 18 months of age, although it really, really does vary. And some babies will make this transition as late as 20 months. So what are the signs that your baby is ready to drop one of these naps and make the move from two naps to one. I'm going to put up this slide here to make it very clear. Now, one of the first signs is that your baby is resisting one of the naps, usually the morning nap, or sleeps for a shorter time. Now, by resisting, that means either fighting you and not wanting to go down, or when you've put your baby down, he or she is singing or laughing or playing and just not sleeping. Another sign is that when your baby has only one nap, he or she seems fine, isn't cranky or easily frustrated. Another really funny sign is when you put them in the car and they just go, 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 and they don't fall asleep, so you're realizing that they're not tired, especially in the morning. Okay, so when your baby's exhibiting these signs, you really are starting to think, okay, my baby doesn't really need two naps anymore. I can make the move to one nap. How do I do that? Let's talk about that. Here's another slide that describes how you can make this move from two naps to one. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna skip the morning nap and you're gonna put your baby down right after lunch. You're gonna try to do that second afternoon nap for about an hour and a half, try to get as much time out of it as you can. If your baby wants to sleep longer, let your baby sleep longer. And then at bedtime, you're gonna be able to hopefully put your baby down to bed earlier than you had before. Now, some of my kids couldn't make it this long. When I was dropping the morning nap, they would be very, very tired already by around 11 in the morning. So what I did have to do during this time period is put them down at around 11 in the morning, try to get them to stay and nap for as long as they could, and then I would sometimes give them a little bit of a cat nap in the afternoon. But here's the one key thing, now that you've got this baby that's joined the One Nap Club. And I'm gonna put this, sorry, wrong paper, here I go. One very, very key thing, a great rule, Try not to let your baby sleep after three in the afternoon because what that will mean is that they're gonna be fighting you on their bedtime and you really want them to have around four hours between when they wake up from their nap and when they go to sleep at night. Something someone told me a long time ago and I found it to be completely true with all of my five children. And I've recently gone through this transition with Marielle. So anyway, those are some tips about this big transition from two naps to one nap Welcome to the One Nap Club, and please comment on the site and tell me what you've learned through making this transition. If you have other ideas that could be helpful to other moms, we would love to hear them. Thank you so much for joining Cloud Mom.